let's learn how to find the hcf and lcm numerically so let's take a set of three numbers let's know uh, the what you can see out over here since the numbers are not a very manageable or a commonplace numbers we will work the factorization way however if you are going to factorize using this process of school days we are going to be miles away from what we should be doing i'll not even go ahead and explain what it is if you have forgotten good good that you have forgotten please don't refresh it if you start doing this way you are not going to crack entrance exams okay uh what you need to do is factor and break them up but break them into little larger chunks than just two two and so on so for example you see a zero everywhere so it is as good as 252 into a 10 right the 10 is a, this is a 10 and so on a 10 as a primes 2 and 5 now look at 252 and think don't don't be obsessed with the 2 2 2 if it is divisible by 2 it is obvious think of bigger numbers if it's divisible by 2 check is it divisible by 4 yes 52 is divisible by 4 is it divisible by 8 8 threes are 24 12 no it's not divisible by 8 so i know the largest power of 2 is 4 and a 2 out of here so that is a 2 cube right or oh, or else just divide okay you checked it till 8 check are the what are the rules of divisibility do we know 3 9 no oh, the sum of these is 9 So divide this by nine. So what will that become? Nine into nine threes are twenty-seven. Or oh, it doesn't go by a three. Nine twos are eighteen, and seventy-two. That is a twenty-eight. That is enough. This this factorization is enough for me to write it into its prime factorized way. Why? Because numbers have become very manageable. Twenty-eight I know is made up of the prime seven and a four. That's it. Right, so let me finish it off out over here. Oh, so there is a seven. Let me keep it. Let me search for threes. Powers of three, three square. There's no three here. There's nothing here. So it is three square. Oh, what other powers are there? Three is done. Two we had already taken care. If you want two to check again, four into seven. Four is a two square. Two square and a two will make this. Right? Is there a five? Yes, there's a five out over here, and there was a seven also. That's the way you factorize it. 1080 should be factorized in one go why because you should be aware 108 is 27 into 4 that's it so 27 into 4 and there's a 10 don't forget that 10 that 10 is going to provide a 2 and a 5 so powers of 2 and 5 will be incremented oh that's it so 2 square and a 10 you will get a 2 3 cube for the 27 and a 5 is left for the making it a 10 what about this 100 100 is 2 square into 5 square oh so i already have don't write it just in your mind just in case you are going to forget i'm writing it 2 square and a 5 square already exists and what is that other than that 15 15 is nothing but 3 into 5 oh so 2s will remain this 3 into 5 5 will become a cube Right, that's it. So I was wondering, five cube is it correct? Have I done an error? Five cube is one twenty five. One twenty five will divide this thousand and five hundred. One twenty five eights are one thousand. One twenty five fours are five hundred. So everything should be done this way. You cannot afford to do this. In the beginning, this might appear a little, uh, p, uh, what shall we say, haphazard, jumping around with numbers. Please do that. That is how you learn all these multiplications, hundred and eight and so on. right only when you keep doing that will the speed increase you can't expect the speed to be in, uh, high at the beginning itself anyway let's finish off our task oh so i want an hcf remember an hcf i always think of it as denominator factor oh so the hcf i need to divide all of them so what will i take all divide 2 square what will divide all the threes it will just be 3 raised to 1 because or else this won't be divided what will divide all of these 5 raised to 1 that's it 7 is not present here not present here so it will not be present in the hcf or else it will not divide the second and the third number right so 8 5 3 is a 15 15 into 8 120 
use the 5 effectively 5 into 2 is 10 so what are you left with oh, am I right? five, oh, 2 square it is my mistake sorry 4 4 3s are 12 12 5s are 60 60 is the LCM out of that. how do I handle the LCM LCM I look at it as the multiple right so these numbers should be so I'll take the largest power 2 cube what about 3 3 cube Okay, and what about 5, 5 cube, the largest one, right, in that case, because it needs to be multiple and also a 7, because this 7 raised to 1, 7 raised to 0, 7 raised to 0. If you want the 7, the least of it is 0, the largest of it is 1. So, I have this, this is an easy multiple, 5 cube is 125, 125 and 8 is 1000. Therefore, I said do multiplications in your mind, it will help you out with that. 27 into 7. 3 cube is 27 into 7. 27 into 7, 140 and 49. 189, 1000. That is going to be a LCM if I have not made a error. 27 to 7, 149 and 1000. Yes. Now, you don't get such numbers every day, please understand this, right? So this process is more academic exercise and let's say if there is a difficult question which will go towards the end, absolutely. More often you get questions like find the LCM, HCF 45, 75, let's say 120. These are more practical numbers that you see. And this is where this all is an overkill. All you have to do is just break the numbers into whatever comes to your mind first. So if you see a 9 and a 5, Break it as a 9, 5 is a 45 and take one help of those numbers. There's no 9 but there's a 5 here. So what is this? 15 into 5. Oh, just try to keep something common. The 5 can be kept common here also. Again, your tables have to be stronger and therefore use this work. Over time, your table will get stronger. You see a 5 common every place. What do I do about the 9 and the 25? Oh, let, let us break them. But they're small numbers. So 9 could be broken as a 3 and a 3. 15 is nothing but 3 and a 5 and 24. Let's keep something common. 3 and an 8. I don't need the prime factorized form, right? Oh, so I see a 5 common. I see a 3 common. Is there anything common to a 3, 5 and an 8? Nothing more. So the common HCF, HCF is going to be just 5 into 3, 15. And if you're good with your multiplications, you could have seen 15, 5 is a 15, 4, 15, 15. 5, 3, 15, 5 is a 75, 15, 8 is a 120. There's nothing common between 5 and this. Is this a multiple of 15? Yes. Right? So this is how you check it. Right? And how do you do the LCM? In the LCM business, you take the commons once. And, okay? You take the common part once. And you take all the others also. Right? If there's some common, also take them common just once in that case. Okay, So, these are, none of them are common. 5 is a prime, 3 is a prime, 8 is a made up of 2 cubes. So, I'll have all 3 of them. 3, 5, 8. That is going to be your LCM. How do you do that faster? 5, 5 is a 25. 25 into 4 adds a 100. There's a 2 left. 25 was 100. 3, 3 is a 9. 9, 2 is a 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 2 is a 18. So, 1800 will be the LC. Right? Even these numbers are not very common. When you do questions of uh, work and so on, where you need to assume an LCM, you get as easy numbers as what is the LCM of 12, 20, and let's say 15. Here, when I see people struggling with these approaches, I really find it difficult. LCM, multiple, start with the larger number, 20, multiple, 40, is 40 a multiple of 12 or 15? Neither. 60, is it a multiple of 12 and 60? Yes, that's it. This is the LCM. Right? And as numbers are smaller and smaller, what about the HCF or nothing? This is a 3 into 4. This is a 4 into 5. Okay, I see 4 common, but there's no 4 out over here. This is a 3 into 5. There is nothing common to all 3. So, the HCF is going to be with the number just 1. Because there's nothing common. That's it. So, th these are the ways that you find LCM, HCF. You don't sit and factorize every time. One other place where uh, you might need to find LCMs is, let's say finding the LCM of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 
Now this is a large lots of numbers. But then the numbers are easy. So just find powers of 2. Where is the power of 2? Which is the highest? 2 cube. Which is the highest power of 3? 3 square. Which is the highest? There is no 4. Powers of 5. Oh, there is 1 5. And there is 1 7. Take this and now check. Is this number divisible by all of them? By 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 6? 2 into 3? 7? Yes. 8? Yes. 9? So this is your LCM. So this is how you do students. Right? You, you as depending upon the numbers are they easy or difficult you change that.